Okay, welcome back. In this video, we're going to start a conversation about what the rule or postulate is. We're also going to talk about the segment construction theorem. Okay, so this is a pretty short video. The rule or postulate states this idea. Ready? Okay. The points on each line L, any line, may be assigned to the entire set of real numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity, such that the following four things are true. Here we go. Each point on line L is going to correspond to a unique coordinate, only one number on that whole range of negative infinity to positive infinity will be associated with a single coordinate. Also, that no two points on that line can be assigned to the same coordinate. Okay? So any two points, no matter how close they are, they're going to be assigned to a different coordinate. Any two points on the line may be assigned to the coordinate of zero and a positive value. Just think about it. if you assigned a line to correspond with all the real numbers, and you chose two points, you could slide those two points to the left or to the right so that the one on the left is at zero and the one on the right is at some positive value. Okay, and lastly, and probably the part of this uh, postulate that is most frequently used is this one. Let's say I've got two points, A and B, and they are assigned to coordinates little a and little b. Okay, so little a and little b are on the number line somewhere, and they correspond with point big A, big B. I can find the distance between big A and big B by subtracting the two coordinates and taking the absolute value. Okay, so the distance between A and B can be found by the difference between the coordinates and taking the absolute value. What does that absolute value have anything to do with it? If I assign B to be something bigger than A, and I do A minus B, I'm going to get a negative value. And distance, as you know, is always positive. Okay, here's a real application of using the ruler postulate. Let's put a couple of coordinates, A and B, on the number line. And we want to find the distance between them. Okay, so I can just take the coordinate associated with A and subtract the coordinate associated with B and then take the absolute value. Negative 6 minus 3 and take the absolute value of that thing. Well, isn't that the same as the absolute value of negative 9? Which is 9 units. All right, and that, it, that's as easy as it is. The ruler postulate just comes in handy for this. Okay, next thing we're going to look at is the segment construction, the segment construction theorem. Doesn't that sound exciting? So the segment construction theorem. This is pretty much common sense if you think about it, but in words it may seem a little more complicated. Okay, this theorem states that if I have two segments, A, B, and C, D, Okay, and these two segments have lengths that are not equal. Actually, the distance between AB is less than the distance between CD. So we know that CD is a little bit longer than AB. Not going to make any rude comments there, but just saying. Then there exists a unique point. Let's just call it E, point E on ray CD such that the distance between A and B is equal to the distance between C and E, and E is going to be between points C and D, okay? So what does that look like? All right, this is all it is. Here is segment AB. Here is segment CD. Obviously, segment CD is a little bit longer than segment AB. 
What this is saying is that if I were to extend C, D, and make it an array, there's going to be exactly one point on this ray called E that when I position it correctly, I assign it to the right place, it's going to make the distance between A and B exactly the same as the distance between C and E. Okay, so if I say that A is going to map to C, and B is going to map to E, we would say that E is something like this. Okay? And there's going to only be one of them. There's nowhere else that I can put it so that that is true. And the reason why we're using array is because we want to go in one direction. Because if we went in the other direction, there would actually be two points that we could call E. So we're just going to limit it to one, okay? And obviously we could flip it around and make it go the other direction, but this is just saying if we're looking at it only in one direction, there's only going to be one point that that's going to be true for. Are you ready for the really exciting news? There's a corollary to this. Okay, what does that mean? It means kind of an extension to a theorem. Okay, so you ready for this exciting corollary? It really kind of makes sense, but again, we want to talk about it explicitly. The corollary says that for every segment that exists, there's a midpoint to that segment. And there's one midpoint to that segment. So it exists and there's only one of them. So in other words, that word unique, there's only one. Okay, so the midpoint of every segment exists and it's unique. All right, so let's say you got an itty bitty little segment. Is there a midpoint to it? Absolutely, because if you put it under a magnifying glass, it's a little bigger segment and you can find exactly where that midpoint is. Okay, so um, that's all that that's saying.